Break 10. In today's video, we are going to do a paper 2. So this is the question paper that was written on the previous year under the province of Eastern Cape. Please make sure that you also go and check on my playlist for grade 10 so that you can check other question paper from different provinces so that you will be more prepared when you write your examination. Okay, without wasting any other time, guys, let's go straight to the question paper and answer our question. So this question paper, guys, is more focused on the general ledger account okay then we have 4.2.1 they said we have to complete the trading stock account by supplying the missing information from number a to j okay if you can see we have been given a trading stock account okay a trading a trading stock account that we've been given guys uh, we have number a up to j that's the information that we need to fill okay let me lay down here a b c d e f g h i and j we need answers for this all alphabet all right so this is the only information guys unfortunately that we are going to to use okay which means that you have to make sure that you know the format of trading stock account because you are not going to read any th additional transaction guys to answer one of this question okay then number a you can see that is under a balance okay it's under a balance of balance bro down actually is opening balance all right now uh, we need to find out how are we going to get this amount very simple guys as you know that uh, when we talk about a ledger account total amount on the credit must be the same as on the credit side simply means that because on the credit side guys as you can see we have all the balances all the amount are available on the credit side which means that we are going to add everything on the a credit side and we subtract everything on the debit side it will give us number a very simple okay i'm not going to write those calculations here they're gonna waste our time what you are going to do guys just listen to me you are going to say 950 plus 9200 plus 8500 plus 60,000 plus 2410 on the credit side and you said minus everything that is on the debit side which is minus 90,000 minus 2,220 minus 7,430 and minus 6,880 is gonna give you 4,500 for number A. 4,500. And it's only two marks to do that, guys. So it was not necessary to show those calculations. Okay? Then now let's proceed to another question. You will ask me on the comment section if you didn't understand anything okay then number b number b uh, if you check on your on your um, folio column uh, it's it has been written cash payment journal and the amount is 6808 what can we record that fall under cash payment journal when we talk about cash payment journal guys simply mean that something has been paid okay if something has been paid simply means that bank affected cash is bank is the same which means that the missing word it was a bank okay then number c they are looking for a reference or folio okay is folio for what for creditors control when we talk about creditors control which is on the debit side guys this is cash journal is cj okay let me remind you this grade 10 remember when we talk about a trading stock we are talking about an asset asset have this side asset increase on the debit and decrease on the credit which means that whatever that has been uh, received the stock that has been received or something that make stock increase is come to this side if a uh, for example a client return inventory simply means that it's 
now we have more inventory because the client return to us is going to add okay if we sell inventory simply means that it's going out by this side because we're talking about what inventory account okay i think now with this understanding it can be simple to go forward okay now we have a data allowance journal guys d a g number d okay now we have to answer what is data allowance journal when we talk about data allowance journal simple means that uh, there is a stock that has been retained by by the customer okay which means that in this case cost of sales has been affected is the one that we have to recall cost of sales is increasing a uh, account of trading stock because the client has retained what a good we can write sales under uh, this account guys we are talking about inventory under inventory account we only have cost of sales not sales so that a uh, cost of sales is going to increase what a uh, account of inventory okay now let's proceed to the next one the next one is number e a petty cash a petty cash is number e which means that petty cash must be recorded under petty cash journal pcj okay number f a creditors control which is on the credit side number f it's, it's gonna be c a j creditors allowance journal creditors allowance journal okay then the following one we have cash receipt journal we have to record a cost of sales not sales guys we receive money which means that we have to apply cost of sales the reason is because this is under account of trading inventory just like that okay then now let's proceed on the next one number i number i is gj general general so there is a two possibility answer for this one it's either it can be donation or it can be what it can be drawings okay it can be between these two okay now um let's proceed let's proceed to number number j number j if you can check is balance brought down this is the closing balance that we close off on the on the credit side of amount of 2410 amount of 2410 okay number i where did i miss number i number y i was supposed to be donation this one okay it was supposed to be donation and the other one number h uh, cost of sales number h number h was supposed to be data general to indicate that someone is purchased on credit okay then let's proceed 4.2.2 explain one possible explanation of entry of 2220 2220 if you check uh, is for data allowance general a, 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 a customer is retained a good why the possibility reason it might be that the customer is not happy with the goods that he purchased of course that's why the customer decided to do it to return the goods okay is a 4.2.2 4.2.2 a customer is not happy customer customer is not happy uh, with the goods with goods purchased just like that okay then the next one 4.2.3 give two possible explanation for entry of 60000 okay i think this one we already answer it that is it can be drawings okay 4.2.3 it can be drawings or donation okay then the following one 
4.3.1 may you and explain the gap principle that should be applied in the above scenario okay we need to read the scenario m knock is employed by ntk traders it is her duty to order stock to record all transaction relating to these orders and to pay suppliers she frequently buy stock from regular supplier for the personal use of the owner and staff members she is too busy with her duty to do a quarterly stock taking as requested okay now name and explain the gap principle uh, that we need to apply in this case we are going to apply the gap principle is 4.3.1 4.3.1 we are going to apply business entity business entity why are we applying this gap principle is because this principle said that uh, the owner must make sure that he doesn't mix up the transaction of personal use together with what for the business we have to separate those two for the owner for personal use or for private use we have to do them separate and for business we do them separate that's the reason that you need to give under this one okay then the other question uh, it was that nt traders does not have a proper control of their trading stock identify three areas of concern and give the solution for each okay number one is that uh, m snog has many responsibilities related to ordering and recording stock and payment of supplier okay then the solution is division of duty okay another concern is that the stock ordered for personal use of the owner and the staff members and the solution is that the transaction of the owner should be entered as drawings and staff members may place order with necessary permission and the other one regular stock taking is not done okay and the solution stock must be counted on a regular basis appointed more staff to assist M snog okay and the last question guys it was saying that it has been noted that quality of the trading stock supplier by one of the regular suppliers has been deteriorated give one suggestion as to how nt traders can overcome this problem okay obviously uh, if they are not happy with the supplier they must first discuss with their supplier or they have to find another better supplier with a better quality so i hope you enjoyed this video guys please make sure to go and watch a uh, other great 10 videos so that you can learn the other different kind of principles uh, so that you will master for your examination i hope you enjoy and i'm gonna see you on the next one goodbye guys